The VC journey has come to an end uh, a few months ago. So tell us about, you know, um, some of the ups and downs, the highs and lows that you experience in your VC journey. So I think one of the biggest mistake I made was like with one specialist math sack. Um, I wasn't prepared for that sack and I had a mind blank during the exam and uh, I think in the end I got 9 out of 30. It wasn't a fun experience but I quickly got out of it and uh, I think the most fun was probably the photography life I had at school. I was part of the photography team and I was taking photos around the campus for my school collegian which is like the yearbook my school. I think I really enjoyed that experience and it was what pretty like really kept me going in year 12. I think it made me realize what my goal is and uh, it made me realize that if I work towards a goal I can achieve it. If I try my best and the result will just always surprise me and I know that now I don't have to worry about the future. I just have to keep my heads down and work, do the work and eventually I will get there. And so tell us about your passion and what you're going to do. Uh, I want to do engineering. Um, I'm really interested in cars and like rockets and planes. So basically everything just goes fast. And so how is English uh, going to help you in this, in achieving your goal? For example, like planes and um, cars. There are a lot of like different people from different countries working on it. And like English is one of the largest, like the most people speak English. So um, it will help me communicate with other engineers. And apart from that, a lot of thesis essays are also written in English and it will help me, like, reading them will help me write, create my own thesis and uh, it will help me in my career, ultimately. For, for students who do not like English as much, what, what would you recommend them do to do to, to develop some passion or some interest in this area? I think it really comes down to just, like, building that initial confidence so at first, um, I didn't really like English that much um, because writing essays, it was kind of tedious for me. I also usually get like stuck in the, all, all the details. For example, I once write a body paragraph five times just because I don't like how it was structured. But I didn't look at the big picture and I think if you just write a whole essay and like you continue on practicing, eventually you will gain that confidence and more and more you will start to love the subject. Can you also tell us, uh, you know, what would you like to say to um, the incoming uh, VC students? I think it's really important to identify what goal you're working towards. That engineering and like cars, planes goal um, was always in my mind when I do my math, do my do my studies, like academic studies. Um, I know that if I just do the work, I'm getting closer to the goal, and um, that will always be my driving force. Um, and it just kept me going in year 12 as well. So it's like knowing what you want. Yeah, and like actually working for it and, and you know, keep your head down and eventually you will get there and you'll be happy by the result. You'll be glad with the results. So coming back to excellence, we're talking about some of the insights that we have developed, uh, looking back and reflecting on the journey that we've had in the VC and IB years. Super excited, uh, can't wait to see what they have to say to us. Bye.